I just want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I know a lot of you subscribed to my channel after watching Wendy's video and I thank all of you and I hope you really enjoy watching my videos. I find it really hard to believe that anyone would really enjoy watching my videos but I'm just really pleased that you do all want to subscribe and keep watching my videos and um, I hope you like them and find them useful to you and helpful. So today I'm going to do an SE nail polish haul. I hope you enjoy it. So I got some SE nail polishes a while ago from a brand Ali haul. If you don't know, brand Ali is a website which has discount prices but it only has like flash sales so they're only available for a limited amount of days uh, so you have to be quick if you want the items but the only downside is that the delivery takes forever uh, I think in the States they have a similar website called Outlook and um, Brand Alley is the UK equivalent uh, okay, so I'll get on with showing you uh, the polishes I got. Really like Essie polishes, but I do agree with a lot of people that say that some Essie polishes are a lot better than others. Some can be quite streaky and uneven to apply. Um, uh, so I'll get on with showing you. <laughs> First colour I got. Oh yeah, I got these in, uh, I couldn't choose which ones I got, apart from that they had them in different sets. So, you could either have four in one set, or two in one, or have different options for you to choose from. You couldn't choose the individual options, so I had to choose one that I liked the best, but wasn't quite sure about which polishes I'd like but I'd heard of some of them and thought I'd like to try some of them which they had so these are the ones I got the first one is this coat azure it's from the new spring summer collection I think I do want to try a few others from the collection like niece is nice um, but I don't have that one uh, yeah, this is coat azure it's a lovely pearly bluey light bluey shade I have worn this once or twice. It's really nice. Uh, this one is what I'm wearing my nails at the moment. And it is called Boathouse. It's a lovely, corally, orangey, bright, hot, pinky shade. And I thought I'd hate it. I thought, oh, that's going to be way too bright for me because normally I hate bright corals but I just tried this on one day and I haven't been able to take it off um, I keep reimplying it because I'm loving it so much for the summer and in the inside it looks darker but when you go out and walk around it just looks absolutely gorgeous with your skin tone and I think it would be equally good on nails or toes especially good with a tan works equally well with any skin tone I think but really really liking it so that's SE Boathouse next up is Virgin Orchid now this came with a, another polish which I'll show you in a sec um, and I hadn't really seen this colour before and I thought it was similar to one I'm giving but it has a metallic sheen to it and it's like pink but it has like a iridescent sort of thing about it, you're probably not catching it on the camera but it's called Virgin Orchid and it's quite nice it's quite an unusual pinky colour but quite different which is nice so I got that one with that one because I had to get it with this one which I've wanted for ages because I'm a big fan of nude polishes and this is Merino Cool, which came out from Autumn Collection last year. It is an autumn shade, but I've just wanted it for ages, so I'm really liking it. 
and it's good for work time or just any time you want to wear neutral nails. Love it. Next one I got is a favourite among the YouTube community. So I had to get it and I wanted to try it for ages but it is one of them that I do find is a bit streaky. Uh, it is Mint Candy Apple by Etty, of course. Um, similar to uh, the Tiffany one for another brand, um, this is a nice colour to wear for spring. More spring? More spring? but also summer as well, if you want. I think it's really cute. Uh, I got this one as well. Van de Go, another popular one. It is a very, very light pinkish shade. It's nice, but I like more colours rather than light pinks. But I, I do like this shade. That's it for the main polishes, I think, but I got some Sesh products, uh, which was strange because <laughs> they were listed in the Essie section. I was like, why didn't they just put another category called Sesh and then have those products, but they were in the Essie polishes section? So that's weird. Yeah, I got the set called Secrets of French Manicure, full sizes which I thought was amazing for the price it was. I, can't I think it was really reasonable for the price it was. All four sizes, four bottles of Sesh, including Sesh Vite, which I've always wanted to try. And I thought that was amazing. So, because I'd seen on eBay, on other sites, the mini bottles for a lot more than I was paying for the whole set of these. So, this is the famous Sesh Vite, which I've also, you know, you see I've used quite a lot of. But it is quite a good really good rapid dry top coat and this by itself in England is 18 pounds I think which I think is a complete rip off uh, but I paid less than that the whole set so I was really pleased and this is a Sesh Rose because you put it on as your neutral nail colour for the French manicure so I've tried the French manicure, but I can never do it quite right with the white tips. Um, this is the Sesh Porcelain, which is the colour you use for the nail tip when you're doing the French manicure. Um, it also came with Sesh Clear, which is like a base coat. And one of the other kits came with this tiny Essie three-way glaze haven't really tried it that much. I tried it once and it seemed to be a bit sticky so I'm not sure if I'm liking that one uh, very much. But I haven't tried it that much so I'll try it again. And one product which is not Essie but is actually China Glaze, I just thought I'd put it in here, uh, is this China Glaze first and last. I was in London like a month ago and I went into Sally Beauty Supply they have one in Shaftesbury Avenue in London, a small one, and I was looking at the Essie polishes and the China Glaze and the OPI and I wanted to get a top coat. Of course I'd forgotten that I'd already ordered these and they hadn't arrived yet so cause I, I'd ordered them about a month beforehand so <laughs> ended up buying this China Glaze first and last. Um, but then about a, five days later I got all this stuff in the mail. I was like, oh no. I was really enjoying the China Glaze uh, first and last. Um, it's a, called first and last because you can use it as a base coat and top coat, which I like because it, it's a double product. You don't have to pay to, for two lots of base coat and top coat. So that's really convenient and it is actually really good. I really like it as a top coat because when I put it on the um, <laughs> first couple of times I thought actually that my nails were still wet 
but it was actually <laughs> it dried and everything really quickly and just left it so shiny and I was amazed <laughs> showing my mum and she's like oh I can't believe your nails are so shiny are these nails still wet? oh my god I thought they were still wet that's a really good base coat and top coat I've just got into using base coat because I didn't used to use it before and some of my nails got stained when I used some colours so I thought I'd better try base coat but this actually works really well as base coat I do actually prefer this base coat to the Sesh Clear base coat um, but yeah they they both work really well this is about half the price or more than actually half the price of that Sesh Vite one so if you want a cheaper alternative then go for this one this in the UK I think was six or seven pounds and as I say this Sesh Vite is about 18 pounds which is a ripoff but it is a good product but I wouldn't pay that for it I'm glad I got it in this set just to try it so yeah that's just about all I wanted to tell you today guys um, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!